Here's uh, here's Mike in Long Island, down in New York. It's great to have you with us. I appreciate your patience, too. How are you doing? Hi, Rush. Pleased to talk to you. Thank you very much for taking my call. You bet. I have a uh, story goes back about a year and a half of my wife and I and another couple. This goes to Medford, Oregon, a small airport, Rogue Valley, United Airlines, where all four of us were bumped off a United flight. Turns out it was a connecting flight that was supposed to go, first of all, to uh, San Francisco, and then I was going to change planes to come back home to Long Island. Well, as it turns out, the four of us, two couples, we were the last online. And you know how it goes. You got to board nowadays by zone. I think we were zone three. And uh, we get to the gate. We never got on the plane. And the girl, the attendant at the gate said, hold on, you guys stop a minute. And I happened to notice that crewmen, crew people, got on the plane. There was no explanation about what was going on. We were just told to hold for a couple of minutes. Right. Well, as it turns out... She said, well, you guys are getting bumped. So I said, what do you mean we're getting bumped? The flimsy excuse she gave us at first was that the plane had a weight problem and it was overweight. And Insinuating that you were obese, huh? <laughs> well, we're not. <laughs> anyway, she wouldn't allow us to board. So uh, they offered us a compensation, I believe it was $100 each, which I thought was kind of ridiculous, considering that we were going to get bumped. And the next flight out, by the way, this was about 10 o'clock in the morning, and the next flight out wasn't going to be until about 5, uh, and that was only going to, uh, to Frisco. Now, Medford is a small airport. There's only a small amount of flights coming in and out. Uh, there's Delta, there's Alaska, and there's United. The Delta and the United flights have come and gone. This was the only one, and the next flight out was going to be about 5 p.m., so, to make a long story short, she gave us our 100 bucks. We found out that uh, we had gotten bumped, not because of weight, but because of the issue with the crew, just like this poor guy and uh, uh, those four people. They, that had to in get, Chicago. they had to get crew to San Francisco for a totally different flight that that crew had to be on the next day. Yes, night. I guess that's the story. Anyway, we wanted to speak to a manager about it. First of all, we didn't like the idea of being bumped. And second of all, how come it was only a 100 buck compensation? Well, the manager would not speak to us. Now, you could see the poor girl that was at the gate. Uh, poor her, woman. Woman. Poor woman, excuse me. Yeah. There were tears welling up in her eyes because she knew that they had done us wrong. And, uh, well, we couldn't do anything. We went back to my daughter's house. She lives in Medford. And fortunately, she was home. She drove us back to the flight. We got bumped to 5 o'clock. We went to Frisco. There were no return flights to New York. We had to take a hotel for the night. Of course, United didn't pay for the hotel. And uh, that was it. Uh, we just got bumped. There was no uh, volunteer uh, arrangement that we were asked voluntarily. Yeah, you got bumped because you were the last to arrive. And That's so, exactly right. Well. That's my feeling. And what I didn't like was the lie they told us about the weight. In actuality, it was the issue with the crew. Right. Yeah, I don't imagine that they would want to tell you that was the... Uh, real reason. Yeah, but it was obvious they had walked in right in front of us. Did they ever tell you something like, hey, it's not that bad. Medford's a much nicer place than Long Island anyway. <laughs> no, they never said that. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Medford's a nice place, but I like it all. Yeah. Well, look, you know, it, uh, these these stories are, are legion. They're numerous. They're all over the place. Um, it, it's, it's part of flying commercial. Um, getting bumped or being asked to get off the airplane or whatever. And I, do I feel sorry for, yeah, but, but, you know, when you look at the whole, what, what did they have to do, both in this case in Chicago with the flight to Lul and this, your example from Medford to it's San Francisco, by the way. People who say Frisco are generally an organized crime. Now, I don't want to assume that about you. But the issue of getting crew... Let's look at Lul for Chicago. You, They could have chartered. United could have chartered a little jet... For four or five thousand to put their crew on. They could have put their crew in a car. They didn't need the crew in Louisville till the next day. What what United was actually doing here was 
a quest to save money. It's a little bit different than making a profit. They were trying to save money, and they now look at how much this is going to cost them versus the simple solutions they had.